Hi there, my name's Remy Sharp, and this uh, video is just going to kind of walk through how to uh, do tile maps, but also to understand the file formats a little bit. Um, I have the manual, the, the ZX Next manual open. I have had it open as a PDF since February, and um, I still struggle with it a little bit, to be honest. Um, and the reason I understand these file formats and how to use them is mostly because I built these tools uh, that have to manipulate these file formats and actually generate them. So I thought I'd walk through just a, a brief process of uh, creating a tile map, explaining how the data is organized, how it's stored in memory, um, and how you can use it. Now, this may or may not be useful, but I thought it'd be worth doing. So I've got a completely clean slate here, um, I think. Have I got a palette? Yeah, I've got a de default palette, um, a default sprite sheet. And I'm actually going to, going to import uh, this sprite sheet uh, that I downloaded from itch.io. Um, oh, it's still got these these values, so I'm gonna I'm gonna import uh, 12 by 6 tiles. Um, so I've already done the maths: 192 divided by 16, which is the size of my tile here, is 12, and 96 divided by 16 is 6. Um, and I'm gonna load these into my sprite. But before I do that, I'm going to grab the palette out of the file. So this dialogue is a little bit confusing because we've got an OK and cancel, and cancel means it's also a positive thing, but we're gonna take the uh, the palette from the entire file. So now that's done, our palette has been modified. We're now gonna import all of these tiles. So that's in. Now, we can edit the sprites if we want to, um, and we can we will need to make use of these um, uh, this palette to, if we want it to render correctly. Um, and the the purpose here is to make a uh, tile map. I've kind of accidentally started drawing all over that, but that's fine. Um, so this is a tile map that I uh, got from earlier, or I, I prepared earlier. Um, I've just dragged it into the browser. It's important that I'm in the tile map uh, section I've dragged into this area. Um, and this is the tile map that I'm going to uh, draw on the page, but I also have a second level. Um, and this is a second tile map that I have. Um, now, the way that these things connect up is that the um, next basic, and I would imagine assembly, but I'm going to talk from the perspective of next basic. Next basic has um, uh, to be able to render tiles onto the screen, it needs two pieces of data. One is the pixel data that represents each individual uh, tile. And another is the um, the map information. Uh, and these are quite simply just values. These are all integers. Um, so the, the raw data for this file is quite literally 3, 25, 25, 25, and so on, um, until it gets 5, and then it carries on 26, 49, and so on. So if we looked at this um, level 2 map uh, as uh, kind of raw data, this is what we'd look at. Um, now, the file comes with a header of 128 characters, and this is where the actual map starts. So these are hex values, but we can see the uh, the three there. 19 as hex is 25, and we can see that repeating over and over. Um, and there we see our five, which was the uh, the edge of the wall there. And then uh, it loops back around to 26. So um, 1a is uh, 26, you see down here. Um, and then we have 49, and that's repeated, uh, and so on. So this is the raw data format for this file. Okay, um, there really isn't anything very clever about the, the data structure. Um, the thing to, to, to note, just file size wise, is that the default download uh, is to include a header over here, um, which you can get rid of if you don't want it. Um, you don't have to include it, it doesn't really make any difference. When you load in uh, using NextBasic, um, it will detect the header and get rid of it for you. It doesn't make it doesn't store anything else in memory or anything like that. Um, now the the sprite format is slightly different. So if we, I'm just going to take the um, the the file, this file here. Um, the contents of this is is different. Um, what we're looking at is firstly there's no header, um, and that's just a, a 
choice I made when I built this tool. Um, the sprites don't download a header. Um, but again, these are just uh, values. So there's gonna be 256 of these values uh, make up the first sprite. So around here, this is the first sprite, okay? So we've got lots of zeros at the end here. And if we look at the actual sprite itself, we'll see all of these values down here are um, the same. I think something's gone wrong with my, there we go. And if you see the hover overlay, you can see I is zero, and that's the index of the palette. The palette value zero is that kind of, I don't know, purplish color. Um, and we can see that in the raw data. This row of zeros is actually this row of zeros here. Okay, so 16, each tile or sprite are 16 by 16 in this orientation. We can do eight by eight, but we're just talking 16 by 16. We've got 16 by 16, 16 times 16 is 256. So the first 256 bytes here represents this first sprite. And each one of these uh, bytes each individual byte is pointing to a position in the palette, okay? And the palette itself, if we have a look at that, this is what the um, palette looks like. So the palette is two, uh, 512 bytes. We use two bytes per, um, per color. Um, and you can see that we've got what? I don't know, 10, 10 colors there? Yeah, nine, naught to 10. Um, so we'll have 20 bytes. Okay, now the uh, the rest are all zeros, um, and you don't need to worry too much about how these are constructed. It's not, I can't remember off the top of my head how, what the math is for it, um, but each two bytes represents this, you know, this first color. Um, so this represents one of the 512 available colors on, on the next, and we can load this into uh, the spectrum. So that's the file format. The, the thing that's also important here is, again, when, when you're using the tool that I wrote, it will prompt for different file name extensions. So um, it will say, if you're downloading a sprite sheet, it will offer the .spr file extension, but that's completely arbitrary. Um, this could be uh, .til to mean it's a, a tile, like a set of tiles. Um, it could be .text. It really doesn't make any difference. It doesn't affect how the file is loaded. It doesn't affect how my program will parse the files. It doesn't affect how the next will parse the files. They still remain as they are. I mean, if I try and preview this, it is uh, as text, it's junk because they're not the right byte values, um, but the bytes are still the same, okay? I just use .spr so I know what, what I expect to be in it. Um, and the same goes for map and pal and so on. You can use any file name you want, um, but it's important to know that it makes no difference whatsoever. So let's have a look at actually uh, making use of that, uh, that raw data. So I'm gonna use um, uh, auto line 10 because I'm a fan of not writing line numbers. And what I'm going to do is, oops, I'm going to um, load in the palette to start off with so that the uh, tiles render correctly. Um, I'm gonna load the tiles into memory and then I'm gonna load the tile maps into another bank. Um, and I'm gonna show you something uh, that, that is quite important about the arrangement of data because this tile map, and this tile map is uh, what, 16 by 12, 16 by 12, so it means it's using 192 bytes of data. And I don't wanna load uh, level one into one bank and level two into another bank because I'm wasting a lot of memory. Um, each bank is 16K, uh, so that's whatever, two to the power of 14. So that's 16K, 192 bytes of that leaves a lot of memory free. So what I want to do is actually load all my levels into this bank, or maybe you've got very large levels and you'll load it across multiple banks, but it's very useful to have uh, map sizes that are a power of two. So, you know, it can be uh, 256 uh, rows or, or columns wide. It could be, um, you know, 128, but powers of two makes it fit nicely into memory. So 
uh, we're going to do auto line. I'm going to do um, proc load assets. Um, so this is kind of my my default stand uh, starting point. Def proc load assets and proc. Um, and then what I'm going to do is select layer two because that's where my tile is going to go. I'm going to set my borders to black. Um, and I'm going to load first of all the um, palette. Um, and I'm going to stick in bank 15. And the reason for choosing bank 15 is that uh, layer two uses bank 9, 10, and 11. And then there's a shadow layer that uses uh, 12, 13, 14. Um, and I might want to use a shadow layer, so I'm going to be using 15 and onwards. So I'm going to load uh, the palette into bank 15, and I'm going to immediately use that on the layer. So palette uh, layer palette uh, 0, bank 15, and I'm starting an offset at 0. Um, I do have the manual here handy. Um, so this is the uh, syntax I'm using. So the uh, layer palette, uh, palette number 0 to 1, bank, and then the offset. So the offset is a prerequisite. Um, you need to include that. Um, so that has immediately set the palette. And I believe that's uploaded that data into the palette. So it doesn't matter if I then overwrite this bank. Um, I might not be, that might not be completely right, but it seems to work for me. So now I'm going to load my um, tiles. Oops, somehow I have a file name of spr.txt. Sorry, .txt on the end of that. Let's rename that to sprite. And I'm going to put that into bank 15 as well. Um, this is That sprite has overwritten the palette data, the raw palette data. But that palette data should be uploaded to the uh, layer, so it's not a problem. I'm now going to load uh, level one, assets level one, uh, into bank 16. Normally I'd stop here, but in this case, I actually want to load oops, level two into the same bank. So I'm going to lo load into offset zero, and it's 192 bytes. And for level two, it's going to be at offset 192. So it's directly after this level, and it is 192 bytes long. OK. So what we've done here, if we go back to our um, level, take a look. In memory, in our 16K bank, it's taken this 192 bytes and, oh, yep, 192 bytes, and it's loaded the next level at the 193rd byte onwards. Um, and that means I can have multiple levels inside of a bank and not use up a boatload of memory or be able to keep it in memory. So I'm point I'm saying that the individual tiles are in bank 15. Okay, so these are the the tiles, the individual 16 by 16 tiles, um, uh, the tiles.spr. And now I'm going to say uh, that we're ready. Okay, so this hasn't done anything. If I run this, it will uh, immediately exit because it's an error because it's trying to um, it's going to hit the def proc. Okay, um, so I'm going to do a repeat, repeat until forever. Oops. And now I'm just going to do uh, a dollar equals in key. And if I hit level, if I hit one, oops, a dollar equals one, I'm going to uh, then proc load level one and if we're level two I do level two and I think we should probably load level one to start off with let's do that and let's write load level oh not proc def proc there we go um, and this will do tile dim and tile dim is um, what, where is the map data? So we're going to say uh, it's bank 16 and it's going to be 192 multiplied by n minus 1. Okay, so that's so if we do the maths here, basically I pass in level 1, so n is 1, uh, n minus 1 is 0, 192 multiplied by 0 is 0, so we're pointing to the 0 offset, which is where level 1 is. If I want, if I pass in the value 2, then 192 multiplied by 2 minus 1 is 1. We get 192. We're pointing to that position in the bank. We are uh, 16 
tiles wide and we're using 16 by 16 tiles and then we're just going to tile all of that data onto the screen that is it so let's run this see what we get oh let's I'll tell you what let's make this a little bit faster run at three okay so there's the first level i'm pressing two one two one two one uh, so there's my level loading um, and I'm keeping this all inside of a single bank um, and really the lessons from this are or the intended lessons are uh, getting uh, get familiar with the the idea that these are just bytes being loaded into uh, into a bank uh, the maps are quite literally just numbers that point to you know, point to the tile index and the the tiles the sprites themselves are similar they're basically just a bunch of numbers pointing to a palette value and these palette values point to these colors in the uh, spectrum next color ah, thing whatever um, but yeah the file extension makes no difference to how things are loaded there are other um, programs that will also generate exactly the same data structures as this um, so Hopefully that was uh, useful for you. So thanks for watching.